Ladies and gentlemen, sticking with MMA, it is time for our seventh bout of the evening, and it is set for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Chandler Holguin. All right, one more MMA fight before we get on to a little kickboxing action, but for right now, let's welcome Mr. Chandler Holguin. Coming to the ring, to the cage, 170 pound fight. This is a fighter that, that I've got some interest in, JR. We've seen him twice now. We've called two of his fights. I like how he moves. I like his, his repertoire. I thought the first fight he was a little timid because he, he didn't quite know how to use everything. The second fight we saw him, he came away with a victory, but he seems like he has the tools. He's just very young in his career, and I'm excited to see what he can bring tonight. Isn't it fun to watch the evolution of these guys from and, stepping and into the cage day one and then watching them go all the way? And you've been here for the entire time, Sparta now in their 11th season. You've seen some great ones. I mean, you've seen the Ian Heinishes, You've seen Grant Neal. You've seen great fighters come up here and make that next step, and there's a lot of them. And you see the gyms in Colorado. And we were talking about it off camera. You look at Elevation and, and, and you look at uh, Genesis. Genesis Training Academy. They're two of the top five gyms. In the world. <laughs> I mean, when you, when you have two of the top five gyms in the world located in the three. And his opponent, fighting out of the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner, please welcome Ali Abu Zalam. Mr. Ali Abu Zalam making his way to the cage. Our tale of the tape, Holguin, the younger at 25 versus the 29-year-old Abu Zalam. Six foot versus 5'10", uh, Abu Zalam, the taller fighter. And Holguin, as you referenced, we got to see both of his fights, MMA, versus the fire bending style of Abu Zalam. A little uh, info from uh, J Train on uh, Ali Abu Zalam, a, a wrestler, he wrestled in Texas. Uh, a tough guy, I've seen a lot of good competition in Texas, we'll see how that no translates here in uh, the MMA cage. No easy matches in Texas. No. <laughs> what do they say? Everything's big in Texas. This will be an interesting one. Chandler Holguin has shown some flashes of brilliance. Still, just a little bit. You know, each fight you see him get a little better. As you said, the evolution of it. You know, you see some of the great fighters. J Train's one of them. Yep. You know, you saw him. How many fights now? He's a perfect 20-0 between amateur and pros. Isn't that it's amazing? time for him to move up to the UFC. And we are looking forward to that. Another one we get to say, hey, I knew him when. Now he's just going to big time us. Absolutely. <laughs> no, actually, it's a great thing he, about Mr. Gonzalez is he'd never do that. He was going to head up here tonight, but he's a little tired. You know, he stayed up, had a little bit of pizza and a beer last night. Had after his driving big, big, today. Hey, he's a world champ now, you know. <laughs> He was very, uh, as you saw, you know, last night in the cage, always very humble. He said, yep. listen, whatever's next, that's firm enough for me to decide. I'm just ready to roll. And saying it's not me, it's my team. It's the people I surround myself Absolutely. with. I loved hearing that, too. Nobody does this alone. Yeah, he, and he is big. Uh, he's He's got a great lower body. Ladies and gentlemen, this welterweight MMA bout is brought to you by Red Lion Hotels. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, an independent fighter from Cleveland, Ohio, Chandler Bing Holguin. <laughs> Love that. We've had a dodge. And his opponent, this. fighting out the nutrition company of Cheyenne Blue Corner from Houston, Texas, representing Trials MMA, Ali the Lebanese Lion Abu Zalam. The Lebanese Lion. And Bing, Chandler Bing, a friend's <laughs> reference. No rules. I want a clean fight. Speaking okay, of the hands 80s. At all times. Protect yourselves at Maybe all 90s. Times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's get back. Well, this will be an interesting one. Abuzlam's got some great legs on him. I mean, he's strong, powerful. Wearing the black and red is Abuzlam, which of course means Holguin wearing the white. We've had two arm bars in the first two MMA fights, arm bar finishes. And boy, Abuzalam looks ready to go, and yeah. he comes out firing hard. Lands well, wow. good punches with accuracy, and Holguin shakes his head and says, yes, bring it. 
Boy, Abuzlam's powerful. Drives him into the cage right in front of us. Holguin's trying to get that Abuzlam guillotine able in, to but pop his it. head free. Holguin wanted the guillotine, lost it pretty quickly. Abuzlam. One butterfly hook in. Little up kick. Abuzlam oh, and a throwing hard some heavy shot comes level. down for Abuzlam. Raining punches. That was a big time shot we saw right here. Holguin gets to his knees because he wants to try to work his way to standing, but Abuzalam using it to try to take the back. Good job by Holguin getting back to his feet. That yeah. was impressive. Holguin's turned into him, and Abuzalam's trying for that kick to the thigh that can really wear on you as the fight goes on. You see him applying those knees to the thigh. Solid Holguin knees doing to a good the leg job. against the cage. One of Boss Rutten's favorite techniques. Boss Rutten protege, Mr. Dwayne Ludwig, in the crowd tonight. Saw him a little earlier. Holguin weathered that first storm a little bit, and Holguin's fighting a little heavier. This is a weight class up for him, JR, that we saw last time. Abuzalam continues with the aggression. Holguin looked down a second. Looks like maybe stepped into a crevice in the cage or something. And Abuzalam now Ab trying to take his moments and pick as he came out firing. Yeah, really putting his strikes together nicely as Abuzalam, mixing the punches and kicks. Holguin came over from the left hand over there to kind of put a little bit of uh, freeze in his step there. Abuzalam's heavy. I mean, he heavy, he drives and uses those legs. Trying to suck up that double leg, he can't do it. Holguin came up with a knee. Yeah, Holguin did a good job using head control there to threaten with the guillotine to make Abuzalam abort the takedown attempt. Oh, and a good shot on the separation. Yeah, good left hand by Abuzalam. Holguin going downstairs with that kick. These boys are coming in real quicker. Oh, big time wow. slam. Holguin had a hold of his head, but Abuzalam now in full mount, just pounding away. We talk about a slam with authority. Whoa, I was going to say we're almost set up for another arm bar there, but Abuzalam goes to the ground and pound. Holguin couple putting left, an arm left, up. Couple this is close to finished. Couple right hands. He's got to do something here to make it move. Holguin's, he's coming up. He's got to work a little bit. He's kind of backs up and he gets out, but he gets spread out again and stretched out. Good job using the hooks by Abuzalam. Just flails away with the rights and lefts. Well, it doesn't flail, pounds away with the rights and lefts. And, Able to go home with the victory. Congratulations, yep. Mr. Abuzalam. What an impressive showing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I believe Holguin's up a weight class, JR, than the last time we saw him. He's a heavier fighter. And he ran into a buzzsaw tonight because Abuzalam came out, exploded right away. You saw him drive to the cage with a powerful takedown, violent. And Abuzalam probably uh, cut down from a weight class above in order to be here tonight. And uh, we talked about the wrestling credentials, and man, did he put some of that on display. Checking out the replay here. and Holguin, a lot of time with his back against the cage and against a good wrestler. That's not where you want to be. Yep. And boom, shaka laka. My gracious. Well, I got to give it to, uh, I guess, a decent scouting report. I guess I got some good information. Yes, sir. Take it up to Big Mo, get the official time of the referee stoppage for the TKO win by Mr. Abuzalam. Boy, Abuzalam's gonna be one to keep an eye on, Jerry. I think you're absolutely right. As I talked about Holguin probably being up a class, Abuzalam's probably got to come down a class. He's, he's put together. Those hammer fists at the end, you know, just, Holguin couldn't get into a position where he could respond at all. He had to, you know, get to your knees, do something, and he was frustrated at the end of it. And he tried. He did a good job getting his knees under him, but Abuzlam flattened him out pretty immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by TKO Ali, the Lebanese Lion Abu Zalam. It's a two breath name there for Big Mo. Boy, we're talking about streaks here. We had three, three for the red corner, four for the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined in the ring by our winner, Mr. Ali Abu Zalam. Ali, first and foremost, glad to have you in the cage. I know you were scheduled to fight before everything went down. How does it feel to have this fight under your belt? 
It feels fantastic. It feels phenomenal. I feel amazing. Now, you came out definitely the aggressor, high pace, tried to take control early. Was that your game plan from the start? Definitely. I mean, I represent Trials MMA. We push the pace. Best gym in the world. We have a new world champion. And we train our ass off over there, so definitely ready to push it all the way. Now, I know I'm curious. I know a lot of your fans and your gym is curious. What can we expect next for the Lebanese Lion? Probably another MMA fight. Well, I lo I'm looking forward to it. I know these fans are looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner, Mr. Ali Abu Zalam. He's got something else for me. Oh, oh yeah. I, actually, yeah, I'd, I'd love to say just thank you first and foremost to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, universe. Thank you, my team, my coaches, my teammates, my family, everyone here. Uh, there's so much to be grateful for, especially Sparta. Thank you for putting this event on, for helping the people like us do what we love. And uh, just... Big love, big respect, big gratitude. Thank you guys so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a brief intermission. I highly suggest you refill your beverages, get some food, and we'll be back with you shortly. What's up guys, this is Jeff here with Sparta Media Group and I wanted to take a brief moment to talk about all the exciting products that we offer here at Sparta Media Group. Whether